And welcome back, my fellow Edcasts, to another episode of the Undeath Mod. So, um, yeah, I got stuck in Apocrypha. I had to use console commands to get out. So that's kind of crappy. Apparently that is a bug that happens to some people. Anyway, I went to Whiterun, I did some enchanting, sold off all the junk that I picked up, and uh, then came here to, to uh, the College of Winterhold and bought the uh, remaining... Oops. The remaining um, master level um, illusion spells. Mayhem. I uh, already had Hysteria. Harmony. And uh, most importantly, Call to Arms. So we're going to test that out on our, um, our minions as soon as we get them. Speaking of, as you'll notice behind me, somehow Antioch managed to find me. And he's still refusing to wear anything but his loincloth and some boots. Whatever, man. Okay, so, a while I was in Whiterun, a courier delivered a message. Broker's message. Seek out the broker. Necromancer, your recent acquisitions are not hidden from me, and it would appear that you now find yourself in need of certain materials which may be difficult to obtain. I have the means to provide to you just the sort of special specialist resources that other more superstitious that other more superstitious of Skyrim's mer mercantile traders will not. Come to my shack west of Lake Illinata in the forests of Falkreath Hold if you are interested. Bring coin. I wonder if I have enough coin because I just like burned through 10 grand to uh, get these po these uh, um, spells. But I also got ritual notes. I didn't read that. The ritual appears to require a combination of three major components, none of which I predict will be easy to obtain. Circle of apo Apotheosis. A very precise and intricate ritual circle will need to be crafted and prepared, as indicated opposite, for the ritual ahead of time. Uh, the procedure itself will need to be conducted inside the circle or the ritual will fail. Finding a secure place to do this will not be easy. The following items will need to be crafted with specialist tools. The phylactery. This... I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This object seems to be central to the process of lichdom. It acts as a vessel for the soul during and after the ritual. The principles involved seem to be similar to that of a soul gem, but much more complex and arcane. The Black Book has already supplied me with the knowledge to unbind my own soul for this ritual, but without a proper receptacle, I will surely perish. Crushed Black Pearl, 1. Ensorcelled Vessel, 1. Solution of Magicka Concentrate, 1. Elixir of Defilation. From the ingredients, this concoction demands it appears to be an incredibly fatal poison. The elixir crafted from earlier also appears to be a key component of this. I suppose that my death will be necessary for the soul to be unbound and enter the phylactery, but the drinking of an incredibly deadly toxin does not fill me with excitement. Poison Bloom Vial of Deadly Poison Nightshade Extract Finely Ground Bone Meal Namira's Corrosion or Embalming Essence. So I have the Embalming Essence. That's the one thing I actually man managed to make. Ritual Process. With a circle drawn and prepared, the phylactery must be set in place first. I need to ensure that I have the Shroud of Engald with me, as the ritual's magic will be focused through it. Inside the circle, I must unbind my soul. When it is unbound, I should imbibe the Elixir of Defilation. If the, situa er, if the ritual was not performed successfully, the transformation will fail, and I will die. Okay, so we need, like, a lot of stuff. We need those three things to make the... It looks like those three things, right? To make the elixir of defilation? Or is that to make the... Oh, that's to make the phylactery. And then that is the ingredients for the uh, defilation. Right, and I have to make a ritual 
place or whatever. So that's the three things here, I guess. Construct phylactery, create elixir of defilation, establish a ritual site. From the forbidden secrets I learned in Apocrypha, I will I have inscribed a dark ritual to parchment that, when completed, will allow me to transform into an undead lich. I should begin to seek out the components necessary for the ritual. Seek out the broker. Read broker's message. I thought I already did that. Broker's message. I read that. How come it didn't update? Weird. Okay, so let's... Let's see where... Okay, so this is... Volkreath, can I fast travel there? Sure. Awesome. Okay, we're probably going to want to wait until nightfall. Oh. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to seeing a pale, naked guy following me around. Okay, let's do this. And, um, let's do, uh, that. Don't really want to bother getting involved with a bunch of fighting. Let's just run all the way there. It is amazing how well I can see. It's, like, really clear... That's that must have something to do with being a vampire out I, I guess. I've never really noticed that before, but something. Yeah, he's coming. Slowly. There's a wolf probably gonna get in get into it with Antioch. Huh. Oh, oh, oh yep. Wow. One hit. Um yeah, it's up there, right? What was that? Or iron ore. Am I going the right way? It would seem so. Coming? Dude? Okay. You now I should probably uh, trap some more souls while I have him to do the killing for me. There's still more of a path here, right? Yeah. Looks like that uh, thing's pretty. Oh, who's this? Oh, you guys are from the companions. I guess I won't kill you off. That was a friendly sign. Wow, I'm getting some like serious lag here all of a sudden. What's going on over there? Some kind of fight? Wow. Laggy. Really laggy. Oh, 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 dear. Do you mind? Pardon me. Um. Are you planning on, like, killing it? You were doing really well for a minute there. 
Thank you. Apprentice Necromancer. Right. Hmm. Weird. Might as well kill that thing while we're here. Thanks. Ooh. Nasty. Can I move this bear? Ah, big surprise, I'm not strong enough. So this... This must be it, right? Hello, broker. Anybody home? Uh-huh. I'm getting really, really low uh, frame rates in here. Oh, he didn't follow me in. Interesting. Anything? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, you got a lot of, a lot of good stuff here. Hmm. Who's there? Come closer, my dear. These eyes are not what they once were. Really? You ah, sound young. It is you. I could sense it from the moment you arrived. Power. Will. Purpose. And you are the broker? Yes, my dear. It was I who sent you that letter. And now here you are, seeking rare things. Powerful things. Yes, things that's me. Things I think others will not provide. Well, I don't know. Yes, but there are several things I need. Of course there are, my dear. That is why you are here. Eyes are not the only way through which one can see. There are many things that you need. And I can provide them. For a price, of course. You don't seem to be all that concerned with money, since you're living in a run-down little shack in the middle of the woods. Um, who are you? I am a simple merchant, my dear. The Great War made very particular commodities far more profitable than they had been in quite some time. Cyrodiil became a bloodbath, and for those of our vocation, a treasure trove worth far more than the vaults of any king on Tamriel. Well, let's just say that the bartering of souls and other things sustained us for quite some time, my dear. Stop calling me my dear. Um, what do you know about necromancy? There are not many who look favorably upon our artistry in these latter days, least of all in Skyrim. But as it was in the old days, beneath the King of Worms, ours is the pathway to many powers beyond the reach of lesser mortals. That is why those of the Mages Guild hated and feared us. That mm. is why the magic of death still drives the wills of many, even centuries after its patron has fallen into silence. Right. Uh, what do you know about the King of Worms? The patron of all necromancers, Manny Marco, the King of Worms. There are still fools who believe he was destroyed two hundred years ago. But we know better, don't we, my dear? Living death is not so easily killed, much less a god. A god? They say that he ascended to the stars, and that the King of Worms watches over us still. When the necromancer's moon is no longer hidden 
Of course, there are few now left who show the proper devotion after so long a silence. Hmm. Okay. What is the necromancer's moon? Of course. Forgive an old woman's memory, my dear. There would not be as many altars as there once were. Once every eight nights, the shade of the revenant will shine upon those who pay homage to the Worm King still. And there, with the offering of souls, he gives but a taste of his power. Oh, but you mustn't let me ramble, my dear. You will probably benefit from reading this instead. Uh, thank you. Uh, I don't really want to hear about the Great War or the Mages Guild, so what have you got for sale? Uh, Staff of Turning Undead and Sparks. Some Necromancer robes. Um, virulent poison. I don't. I need deadly poison, right? Uh, I don't need those. This looks looks like a pretty standard alchemist's list. Um, poison bloom. I need Poison Bloom, right? I think so. Um, what is that? Oh! Can I upgrade Raven Scorn and turn it into my own home? Nice. Also, Solitude Sewers. Ritual Chamber. Okay, I need that. Venom Garden. Quarters. Okay, and then a uh, black pearl. Ooh, that is most of my money right there. Hmm. Okay, let's just. A pleasure doing business with you, my dear. Right, pleasure. So I still still say I got to read the broker's message. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's go back and read the ritual notes. Crushed black pearl, ensorcelled vessel, solution of magicka concentrate. Poison bloom, there's one. Nightshade ac extract, finely ground bone meal. Uh, Namira's corrosion. So I've got that. Looks like I can buy um, poison bloom from her. Nightshade should be able to find easily somewhere. Finely ground bone meal. Now that was used in uh, in uh, opening up. Uh, the portal to the thing, right? To the uh, soul cairn. How do I make that? Hmm. Maybe if I just get some bone meal, maybe I can grind it up somehow. And a vial of deadly poison. Should be able to buy that from somebody, too. Does she have the ensorcelled vessel? The real question. You won't find these wares at your local general store, my dear. She does not have an ensorcelled vessel. That's that's slightly disappointing. Um, where's the poison bloom? There we go. That's not expensive. Just buy one of those. Nice. And can I just buy? I can buy Nightshade from her too. Nice. But she does not have deadly poison. She has virulent poison. 
I... It's probably not going to work, right? We're going to have to get the other. Okay. Come again soon. Sure. Oh, hang on. Let me buy. Oh, I'm sure we'll find what you're looking for. Uh-huh. Okay, so the ritual chamber is going to cost me most of my money. <laughs> and so is the black pearl. So I'm going to have to make more money, basically. Well, why don't I just get the chamber? And then I'll head over... Doing ah. business with you, Established indeed. ritual site. Nice. Now, do you have a... Crafting table. Necromantic altar. You lack the skill required to use this. Oh, right. I got a... Somebody gave me the tip to level up my uh, enchanting. <sighs> All right. Oh, this is really dark, but we will leave it there for today. And, man, I'm already starting to look like a part lich. <laughs> we'll leave it there for uh, this episode, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.